Have you ever wondered what the humanized version of Mater from Disney Pixar's Cars would look like? Well, congratulations because you've clicked on the right video. This here is 21-year-old Russell, or Rusty, as he calls himself online, and as his name implies, he's very... rusty. And on one sunny afternoon in Kalamazoo, Michigan, he showed up to a Target Superstore to get a cupcake. If you know what I mean. And I gotta say, I mean, this guy Rusty really lived up to his name. Just everything about him was literally Rusty. I mean, everything from the vehicle that he pulled up in, to his shoes, to his bare appearance. I mean, how do you even pull off looking rusty? I, I, I don't know. I mean, clearly this guy hasn't showered in months. Just like most of the individuals we catch, Rusty reached out to our adult decoy profile on a dating app. Now, he didn't say anything too crazy. According to him, all he wanted to do was pick up this cupcake and go see a movie. Now, Rusty didn't really see an issue with what he was doing. However, his sister seemed to think otherwise when we called her up on the phone. Okay, well that's what he's doing right now, and I understand he is a couple hours away from home here in Kalamazoo. My boyfriend's currently in a hospital and he was supposed to be coming back to get me. Are you f Little. Dumb? What is your I problem? was asking her. Now mind you, this occurred not even an hour after we had caught Big John over at the Kalamazoo 10 with the uh, the Barbie doll. It was Rusty's plan to take this cupcake to that exact movie theater. Now, we had to censor a ton of things in this video just to make it fit YouTube's guidelines. So if you'd like to see the full uncensored version of this video, as well as a few videos that aren't yet here on YouTube, be sure to head over to skeetergene.locals.com. We are about two hours outside of the Detroit area in Coldwater, Michigan, and we're getting ready, ready to roll up on uh, this potential predator here. His name is Terry. What am I get for this? Well, sir, I'm just here to ask you a couple questions. All right. Do you know what this is regarding? No. You don't know? Okay. She said um, she wants me to come and meet her at five mm -hmm. when her mom is gone. Uh, no, we're not, ma'am. Yeah, you are. I am with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. I don't want you guys to get for a little stupid. No, ma'am. Yeah, it's not him, but for people on Facebook, trying to get money from Terry. There's nothing here. Can were you using Google Chat, Terry? Was it was it Google Chat that you were using? Yeah, I can't get dark. I can't go anywhere in the dark. There's there you go. I'm here. Oh, there, there's Google Chat. Becoming a supporter on Locals really goes a long way in helping us keep going with taking down these bad guys, so I highly encourage you to do so. Now, who's to say what Rusty's real intentions were? I mean, he drove two and a half hours one way to pick up this cupcake and just hang out with her. I don't know if I'm buying it, but only he can really tell his story, so let's go ahead and get into the interaction. So we're back at it. We just got done catching um, our boy John over at the uh, Kalamazoo uh, movie theater. Brought the Barbie doll. Still have it in the trunk. Right now, we're getting ready to catch this guy. His name is Russell, but he says the ladies call him Rusty. And I'll tell you what is Rusty is this Riz that he's using on who he thinks is a Now, he seems to be, you know, afraid to really say anything, but... Um, I think that's just a cover-up because he doesn't want to get in trouble. He is driving two hours to Kalamazoo from his hometown to meet this girl, though. So you gotta wonder, if you're driving two hours to meet a girl, what's the intention? What's the appeal? Just gonna hang out. Just gonna hang out, get an ice cream cone, hold hands. He says, after the store, do you want to go back to your place? He thinks he's meeting the girl right here at this Target, and um, he's gonna be meeting in the, uh, I believe, the, the candy section. We have our boy Chris, our off-duty police officer, who is on standby, ready to come into the store. Uh, in the parking lot. Right in the parking now, lot right, right now. He's, he's about it. If I had to guess, that, okay. that hold on. vehicle over there, that pickup truck with the rust on the back of it, is about to be his. Just Probably. Hold on. She said he's walking in right now. Let's see what she says. He's, he's already at Target. He's in the parking lot. He's going to come inside. He's wearing a blue plaid shirt. Um, 
he the deal is his he said that his sister's boyfriend just had a seizure and he kind of lives over here so he was wondering if i could just hop in his car and we were going to go check on our brother's boyfriend or something um yeah. and i said oh well should i and i said don't you think that your sister's gonna get mad that you're with your your old girlfriend he goes oh no 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 don't tell her that you're we can just tell her that we are only friends, um, you know, so there's that at least. But he should be walking to the candy section and he's supposed to be sending me a picture of what he's wearing right now. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We got a guy getting out of a pickup truck right now. Yep, yeah. that's probably him. Pickup. Plaid shirt. Uh, we can't we can't see the shirt yet. He just he okay. just closed the door. Hang on. This might be him. Rusty one back here? Rusty yeah, that, that would have, I mean, you saw his picture. He, his name is Rusty. He's about to walk in. He's about to yeah. walk in. Um, plaid shirt. Plaid shirt, you said? Blue? Yeah. Plaid shirt. I think this is him, bro. Let me see. Blue. Hold on. I think this is plaid. Get, get away from the window, you piece of shit. Here, I just sent you the link Rocking of the video shirt. he sent me earlier. Does he have an LA? Yeah, he's got an LA. He did have an LA hat on. Yeah. So I just. Oh, he sent a video? Yeah. Okay. Sit, no. Okay, hang on. Yep, that's him. That's, that's him. him. That's okay, him. blue plaid. We got him. Yep, we got him. Okay, so tell um, tell Chris. You see his last name? Blue Skeet? plaid shirt, gray hat. Uh, tell okay. Chris. Uh, you said candy section, right? I already told him. Okay. Yep, candy section. Okay. Remember, he said he's uh, going to. He's, he just wants her to hop in the car, change of plans, no more movies. You got to go check on somebody that has hop in the car. Okay. Close. Oh, well, that's sus. Here he is. What do you say? Can't hear him. Okay, he looks pretty down bad. All right, look, let's go get Rusty. Candy section. Where is the candy section? Okay, he's probably walking fast. Okay, he's almost to candy. How's it going, Russell? Good. How are you? Good. What are you here for? Meeting up with somebody to pick them up. Who are you here to meet? Um, because we were going to a movie. And who was it that you're here meeting? I'm with the Predatorial Investigation Unit, so you know, sir. We do have the police on standby. Okay. Okay, so who are you uh, here meeting? I can't, I don't even know the name exactly. Hold on. You know the name? Okay, take your I time. I can't even, I can't even think of the can't name. Can't even think. Time. Just caught you off guard. Yeah, honestly. Okay. Uh, was her name Taylor? Yes, thank Taylor. you. Yeah, no problem. And uh, how do you know this Taylor? Um, I met her online, actually. Online? Yes. On what app? Um, the up, Upward app. Upward app? Yes. You sure it wasn't kinked? Yes. I met her up on Upward first. Upward. Yes, we texted okay. on there for before. Okay, and what and were you- I got you... her number there, and then she never replied, so I uh -huh. deleted it and blocked it. Okay, and how old is the, the girl you're here to meet? She said um, Right. And I said, okay, you want to just go to the movie? And I said, okay. So just okay, hang out. I didn't no think harm there done. was really anything wrong with doing that. How old are you, Russell? 21. 21. You don't see anything wrong with a 21-year-old meeting a Just to go to a movie? Not Just go to really. movie. You don't think it's a little weird, though? Maybe a little, but... Maybe a little. Well, why, when you were on the phone with her just a little bit ago, why'd you tell her that your sister couldn't find out that she was... Why'd because you, why'd she you don't her? know that I'm even here right well, now. Well, if there's nothing wrong with you meaning a... Why does your... Why can your sister not know about it? She'd probably disown me. Why? Because she would wonder, why am I meeting up with a... So... That's my question. I'm wondering why you were meeting up with a Because I haven't Help had me answer that. to do recently, so I just thought maybe meet up with a girl, maybe go to a movie. So. But why would your sister disown you for it? What's What do you think is wrong with it? Honestly, I couldn't tell you unless if it was because it was wrong to be with somebody. Right. That, that is, might be wrong, that, but... Don't you, you think it's wrong? Maybe a little, but if you but go just a that little. route. What route were you trying to go? I was just trying to be you... a friendly person, trying to be just friends. Okay. Honestly. 
So after you got Candy with her here at Target, you were going to go see a movie with her. Right. And just hit it off as friends. Honestly, yes. Okay, and you don't see, you don't see anything weird about that to you? Even though it's something that your sister would disown you for, potentially. Nothing wrong with them? No, it's not like the first time she's disowned me for a lot of <laughs> Okay, shit, so she disowns so. you and then re-owns you? What? She's okay. the older sister, so it's uh -huh. like a... How, how old is she? Hate hate 23, actually. She's 23, and you're yes. so two years older than you? Yes. Okay. She was born first. Okay, gotcha. So 21. Yes. This is a pretty rough look for 21, Russell. You know, I mean, are, are you... Do you do any or anything like that? No? no? Sober? Yeah. Okay. And how far did you... Where are you from again? And how far is that from here? Two and a half hours. Two and a half hours. You drove two and a half hours to meet just to go to a movie. I haven't had anybody actually try to talk to me lately, and I've been trying to go on online dating to meet someone, mm -hmm. and nobody's actually talked to me besides one person, so. Lately. So, online so, dating. You met this on an online dating site. Mm -hmm. But you weren't planning to do anything that resembled dating her? No, once she said she was and I said no. Okay. No. Now let, me, let me ask you something else, Russell. Do you expect me to believe that? You can don't have to believe it if you don't want to, but I don't plan to. I mean, you know how many times I've heard that, though. Come on, Russell. You drove two and a half hours I to have. see a movie. So far, Rusty's story seems like total bull. <laughs> I mean, two and a half hour drive just to hang out. <laughs> yeah, okay, bud. I mean, sure, we've all driven great distances to see that special someone, but. Did you know that Morgan & Morgan is America's biggest injury law firm? That's right, they have over a thousand attorneys operating in almost all 50 states across the nation. If you're ever injured in an accident, you deserve to have the very best on your side. I mean, your injury could be worth millions of dollars. And they don't accept any lowball offers, no, no, no. Just recently, Morgan & Morgan saw verdicts of $12 million in the state of Florida, $6.8 million in New York, and the list just goes on. Not to mention their fee is 100% free unless they win. If you're ever injured in an accident, it's really easy to get a claim started with Morgan & Morgan. All you have to do is head on over to ForThePeople.com slash Skeeter to get started today. Thank you so much to Morgan & Morgan for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the video. If you want to, I, mean, I have what, a... What could you possibly show me on your phone that would... I have a, another girl that I actually have been looking, that I have been with for a while, and she actually just broke up with me, and I'm trying to get back with her. Okay. Currently. Of course. Let's see. It says... So the left is you? Or the left is her? Left is her. Left is her. Okay. And Let's this see. is me. If you want to, you can look okay. at it if you want. I don't care. Waiting for Morgan. Lunch. How old is this girl? She... I think she's the exact same age as my sister. I don't actually know 100%, but we were actually dating for about three months. Gotcha. Okay. Sorry, the person okay, you were gotcha. trying to reach Well, she didn't answer, so. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, she's with my, she, my sister's been trying to call somebody to get a ride down to somebody here in. Mm -hmm. And your sister uh, lives around here? No, she, she lives back up in. Okay. We're trying to. Because after I was going to come in and talk to, I don't know if this girl's real now, but mm -hmm. we I was going to talk to her and see if she wanted to take a ride with me. I have to go and pick up my sister to bring her back. Okay. So you were going to, so you're going to pick up this? Bring her with me. Bring, pick up my sister. Two and a half hours away. Come back down to Marshall, drop her off to her boyfriend that actually just had a seizure. Okay. That's why I asked her since I did, I had asked her. That was up to her if she wants to say no. And that's why. It's up to her. Okay. I never said okay. it. What, what else would you have asked her to do? That was it. That's that was it. I was either going to go because my sister asked me if I could go and I said, okay. if not. But I you were worried leave. that your sister would find out that she. She should probably be pissed at me for sure. I know. It. I would think so. So what was the cover up story going to be? Just say you're a little bit older. Just say you're older. Like how much a older? A little weird, Russell. Right. You know. I mean, 
Chris, do you have any input on this? Like, what, what do you think of all this? Hey, Russell, you have some ID on you? I don't. If we want to walk out okay. to my car. Well, no, he is an off. He is an off-duty police, police officer. So. Okay, I'm. I'm a real police officer. Okay. Okay. All right, Russell. Okay. Do you know what the age of consent in this state is? I do not exactly. What do you think it is? As far as what I've heard, if you include the Romeo and Juliet law, it's up to. <laughs> if you're dating an eight-year-old. But you're 21. Besides that, it's to. If you are having consensual s okay. but we weren't. And just wondering. Uh, sounds like you practiced that. Yeah. It sounds like you, you had that pretty down packed. Okay. No, we, I've actually talked to that with a couple of dudes before. Okay. And I'm just wondering, do you have your sister's contact info on your phone? Yeah. Can I see what messages you may have been you know, sending to her? Because we were just talking about to get asked my dad for $100 home. so I could go, go back home, get okay. her. And this was today? Yeah. or? Yeah, just now, like about okay. not even a half hour ago. July twentieth, okay. Like Excellent this, this it. is legit. Okay, and besides that, I gotcha. I'll just give her a call as well. Mhm. Mm She'll pick up, and I know okay. she will. So you're ready to tell her what you're what you're here doing? That's fine. Okay. If I have to. Okay, I think it's best. Hello. Hi, Morgan. What? Hi, Morgan. Is this uh, Russell's sister? Yeah. Hi, I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit. I just wanted to let you know that your brother Russell is... Oh, she, she, she hang up there. Maybe, maybe call dropped. I have no clue. Oh, no, let's try her again. Oh, you don't? Is she still there? Oh, she, she's still there? Yeah, I don't know. You, you still there, Morgan? Yeah, I am. Hi, I, I just wanted to let you know, your, your brother Russell is here in a Target in Kalamazoo, Michigan, trying to meet a... <laughs> um, did you, were you aware of this? No. Okay, well that's what he's doing right now, and I understand he is a couple hours away from home here in Kalamazoo. Oh. I was gonna ask her if she okay. wanted to, but. Okay, yeah. So he was gonna bring her back there, and he was going to tell you that she was but he's really here to meet a girl, and we do have police on standby here, just so you know. Just figured we should run it by you. Okay. He did meet her on a dating app uh, just earlier today. Sparked up a conversation, and here he is to meet a <laughs> Russell, do you have anything to say about this? I'm sorry. I, I guess. I, what? I thought I was just going to go out and have him watch a movie, honest to God. Yeah. But, but That's why I came down here to do. But looking... Honestly. But, Russell, you drove two and a half hours here. That, I mean, you couldn't... I have... She's not that kind of person. I'm not, honestly. I have not been. I have been looking sure? for a person. Literally, I just went out to go on a date. Okay. I went to go out to try to go on a date with another lady in Lansing. Okay. So what she happened was, there? She stood me up. Okay. So why come to me to though? Why not? I why not stick to an adult? No, nobody has actually shown me that they were actually real or anything. So I was like, you know what? I'm trying to get away from my life that, from my breakups. Okay. Go and watch a movie. Maybe have a fun time. Watch a movie. Just watch a movie with a Drop girl. her off. What and go could home. a 21 year old possibly have in common with a I don't know, honestly. Well, you don't know, come on, all right. What was the interest? What, what, would, what would possibly be an interest that a could share with you? Think long and hard. Nothing, honestly. Okay, then. So what was the interest, Rusty? All just right. to go to a movie, honest to God, truly. Okay, well, I why really couldn't you have not. done that with an adult, though? I have not been able to even get a hold of one person that would go out. And well, that why not, is why not just go out with well, your with sister? Your sister. I'm, I'm sure your sister would go out with you. She is legitly with her boyfriend. She tells me to get the f out of her room every day. Mm -hmm. You can ask her that yeah. right now. Uh, miss, is, is this true? Yes. My boyfriend's currently in a hospital, and he was supposed to be coming back to get me so I could go see my boyfriend. Okay, I, I understand, and but he was going to come back with <laughs> which is are you a little... Dumb? What is your I problem? was asking her. Don't it there, young lady. How do you really feel? I was going to ask her. That's why I did. If she didn't want to go, well, she I understand. Have to. I understand, but it seemed like she was compliant with going, and it seems like you would have okay. brought her with you. Which, I mean, that's one thing, and but it's just... I just was asking if she wanted to go for a ride. Okay, go for a ride, go home, drop her off. Okay. Because I have to work tomorrow. Okay. 
But you, I never get out of the house anymore. Literally, I've been taking off work to do with myself right now. But you still understand how it looks from the outside. I know Russell. it does. And, and how how does it look to me? To me, to you, it looks like that I am a <laughs> yes, and I'm sorry that it does. It okay. is not my I true intention. My is not like you can ask. Well, we're trying to get to the bottom of that, miss. You can ask multiple people if you want. Okay. I mean, look, Russell, it just, uh, that's just how it looks to me. You know, it's just, I can't find any other way to look at it. It's just hard to believe that you would come here and just casually meet a drive two hours to meet her and just not be planning to do, you know, anything. Oh my God. Let me it's see this. Just, I went and drove all the way down to um, Livonia to meet Livonia. a girl that I met when on Snapchat in, high school, school. right? My okay. dad and you. my dad Hold took on. me to go and meet a girl named Tori. Didn't know okay. anything about her. We went out and did Halloween together. Okay. Didn't really have any intentions. I think I was even a couple years. I think I was about two years older than her. It was me, her, and her friend. Went around home. Okay. Okay. Well, that's all fine. But now you're all grown up and you're out of school. Right. And you're hanging out with. And but it's like meeting up with someone that you don't even know though, and yeah. just going out, going home though. I'm not trying okay. to. I know. It, I know. Okay. I'm just trying to go and meet someone. Okay. Have I, fun and go yeah. home. I understand, Russell. You know, and I I can't say if you would have or would have done that. You know. It sucks not being able to talk to any friends. Everybody's moved away. I haven't I, been able to do anything. I got you. I sit I got you. Work. No, I got you. But what if you had, you know, a daughter and she was coming to meet with an adult from I can, online? I can would you, see how. I okay, mean, I how, 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 would, how would you feel? Pissed, yes. You'd be I pissed. Understand. So I understand that. What makes it okay for you to do it then? If that, if you think that would piss I didn't, a father honestly, off. Honestly, I didn't think about that. Okay. I thought about maybe going and have, just watching a movie. Truly. Okay. My mind. Okay, Russell. What was that? I mean, is that all you have to say for yourself? Yep. Uh, okay. I. What do you do for work? I work for. Yeah, as a golf cart mechanic. Golf cart mechanic, okay, I see. Power sports and small engines, right? Just small engine, basically. Okay. That's it. Okay. Now, it seems like your brain has a bit of a small engine, being that you didn't uh, think a whole lot before you came here. I mean, you, you agree it's not a good look, right, Russell? No. Okay. And you didn't think about that before you came? I, no, and I, I did not. I'm okay. sorry about that. Okay. Yeah. Are, are you sorry am. about the whole thing, or are you just sorry you got caught here? I'm sorry about the whole thing. Honestly, I did not think about it okay. before I came down. I got you. I was just trying to come down here, maybe hang out with someone for once in a while. Okay. I see. I have not done it in a long freaking time. Okay. And, I mean, what does your sister think of all this? Morgan? I don't, I don't even know what to think. I'm... She's stressed out right now. I see. I see. That's why I was trying to, that's why I asked her if she wanted to go or not, and that's why I was okay. going to leave or not. I gotcha. Okay. Uh, that's why I was trying to hurry up and get here just for her, because she called me about halfway. Okay. Understood. Well, Russell, do you, do you have anything else you have to you know, say for yourself here? No. I, I'm sorry. I did not think of, of what I was doing. I'm okay. not trying to be. A I okay. just really wanted to just watch a movie and hang out with someone. Honest okay. to God. Okay, I got you. Well, if you know that's all you have to say for yourself, then what I have to let you know is that I'm Skeet Hansen with the Predatorial Investigation Unit, and we're doing an online series about adults who try to meet up with online, whether it be for or just in general, and you've just been skeeted in 4K, and uh, you know, if there's anything else you have to say, you know, feel free. If you've got all your peace out, then, you know, we can wait for the authorities to arrive and address the situation.
I'm good. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess that's um, you know, that's all I have for you. Unless uh, Chris, unless there's anything you have. Relax. Uh, <clears throat> Sheriff's department's gonna be stopping by here in a bit to talk to you. Okay. All right. I was gonna say, do, are they gonna want my ID? Well, they're gonna want your ID, but don't worry, we're gonna okay. stay right here. Okay. probably just sit tight here. You're not coming home. I don't well, know. That's not up to us to decide, ma'am. Because he was supposed to take me to go see my boyfriend that's in Battle Creek right now in the hospital. Okay, that, that, I that, understand. Because, like, she's the, I'm the only ride for her okay. right now. Well, yeah, you know, explain that to, you know, the sheriff when that's they get here. That's why I was asking if they, if the woman, or if she was actually... The woman? Person. She was a... I, well, girl, whatever. If she wanted to go. <laughs> Okay. Oh my God. And then, I mean, why why even bring her along for the ride though? Why not just take what you gotta take care of? Take care of what you gotta take care of, you know, as, well, as an adult. It took so long that I couldn't, in between responses, to get from her to me. I was only like 15 minutes away from showing up and she said, okay, fine, I'll just show up. Okay. Either ask her or not. If she says no, Okay, fine. so you figured, okay, let me just drive two and a half hours and make a five hour round trip just to see if she wants to come. I, I didn't know about it when I left home. You didn't know about what? This, when I left home. Oh, okay. I so this I, just came up for you? Yes, this okay. came up like not even 30 minutes ago. Okay, understood. That's why I'm like, I'll just ask her when I get there, I guess. Gotcha, or gotcha. And yeah. you wanted her to just, you wanted to skip on the movie and just for her to get in your see truck if and- if she wanted to go or if okay. she was gonna just go home. And that was fine. Okay. I really gotcha. didn't care because I was going to go home and grab Morgan. You know, Russell, some might look at that as some form of kidnapping. So you might want to be careful and think things through. Because that isn't a good look for you. You know, imagine if she had been how, here. How long until the sheriffs get there? We have an ETA, Chris. Uh, it's, it's whenever they arrive, ma'am. They usually don't take too long, though. This is all I've been putting up with was scams for the past. Scams. Do, do you week. feel like do you feel like you got scammed? Like I was, like I was talking to a girl before. She said she was. Okay. And about a week later, a person tries to call me, threatening that she was only. And I'm like, no. I took it oh, to the a, cops. Yeah, I'm like, that's a different situation. Here, the girl blatantly told you that she was. So it's a I'm little. Like, I don't even know what to think anymore. Okay. Well, this is a different situation, though. I, I'm gonna ask this. Truly, is this even a true girl or no? Honestly. Well, we'll be able to answer all your questions when the sheriff arrives. Okay. I'm just. Okay. Or is this just a huge ass scam? Do you feel like you got scammed? Honestly, yes. How so? Because this was way too easy to do this, and just to try to get a movie. My so, life has so never who, been this easy this before. So, so who pursued? For the past two weeks. In the conversation, who pursued who? I asked if they want, if somebody wanted to meet up. You asked she the girl. Said, yes, I asked her you if she wanted to meet up. You contacted her first on the site. Right. You asked if she wanted to meet up. She agreed. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like the whole thing was driven by you. Right, and I asked if she wanted to meet up, and I said, okay. So how, how do you feel like you were scammed? Because nothing actually has been right, and truly, it didn't seem like a real person. Didn't? When I knew that there was nothing wrong with my phone, it kept saying that I was cutting in and out. Hmm, weird. What were you, what were you supposed to gain from the potential scam here, though, if it was a scam? Because usually in a scam scenario, there's something that the other person is supposed to be gaining, right? Knowledge to just and that's, back off from even online dating at this point, because like, I'm tired of Well, this. If, if you're going to resort to meeting up with <laughs> then you might want to do that. That might be in your best well, interest. I wasn't even trying to... I was meeting up with her, but to I understand. just drive movies. Yeah, I understand that. That was it, literally. But the, the problem is that she's... <laughs> and... You do, knew this. Do I you know. still need to stay on the phone? Oh uh, no, no, you you don't, ma'am. You can. You're free to. You're free to hang up. Okay. Um. I'll call you. I guess if I go to jail or whatever. I guess. 
Okay, is that, well, it be... is that a possibility, I guess? Yeah, again, it's really not up to me to decide. It's up, it's up to the officers at the scene, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right, I am outside my jurisdiction. I am just here, okay, as an assistant, but, all right. Okay. Uh, I just yeah. I just need to know what I need to expect and well, yeah. that's you'll right. find that out shortly. Okay. Deputy show up, okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah. I'll let you know, I guess. All right. Well, I'm leaving. I'm going to say mom will take me. I need you to send me that $100 that you have on your phone. Goodbye. Goodbye. You were supposed to send her $100? My dad sent me $100 to my cash app so I could drive there to okay. pick her up. Gotcha. Like, that's what I was showing you in the text. Okay. To have my dad pay, send me a hundred dollars. I'll we'll both split it, which he did. Okay, I see. So that's why we've been trying to do with this. I'm like, it's not even the end. Like I've been trying to go and do with my own car tonight yet. So it's okay. not even gonna be long. Gotcha. Wait. Okay. Please, please for here. So. Yeah. Cool. Oh. But you need to understand that not everything in the world works on your time. I know. Okay. I know. I so say you're only here because of your behavior. I know, okay. and that's why. I mean, like I said, you know, you pursued the whole thing. I don't, I don't think you were scammed. I mean, no one told you to come here or else. It was completely up to you, right? No. Not, not right. Do you agree with that? Yes, I'm You sorry. agree? I'm sorry. Okay. I, I understood that wrong. Okay. So, 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 is it fair to say you were scammed? Uh, no. Honestly, no. Okay, I'm just trying to make you understand that, Russell. No. No, we're, we're not in the business of scamming anyone. Everyone has their own choices right. that they can make. You guys got your interview done? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's, he's all yours. All right. So, what's... Uh, What's the deal today? What? Why we? Why we here? So I came up from set. Okay. I was supposed to meet a. We were supposed okay. to. She came in here, grab snacks to go to the movie. I was gonna come in here, see if she. My sister had called me on the way down here if I could come pick her up, because her boyfriend just went into the hospital after he having a seizure, down here in Marshall. And so I was going to ask her if she wanted to go with me for the ride or not. That was up to her. Okay. And after that, I was going to leave or not. Why? Why what? I'm sorry. But why are we meeting a girl? I, I haven't had I anybody to talk to about. Or anything like week, that. So... I thought about just meeting up with someone to at least just get out and do something. Okay. All I do is work, go home, sleep, play on my phone anymore. Everybody you don't, I talk to. You don't shower in between all that? Okay, besides the necessities. Okay. Well, I'm just getting a whiff and it's I just, know. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, the you, last person I tried to meet up with legitimately stood me up when I tried to go to Lansing, so... And I just, when she actually showed proof that she was actually a person, I at least knew something was good at least. And I was like, okay, let's meet up, I guess, if you want the movie. Okay. But like, do you understand why How it looks that's right. something that we shouldn't be doing? Right. And I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't, I didn't look at it that way, honestly. You were just looking at it for someone to hang out with. Hang out with. I I never actually done anything like this before. Okay, I'm not. Not right now. What's your name, sir? Russell. What's your uh, date of birth, Russell? There were no explicit or sexual text messages with this female, were there? No, not that I can actually recall of and that I can remember of at this moment. Were there any plans for this to turn? into anything beyond hanging out? No. As far as I know, no. Okay. And you drove two and a half hours for nothing? Just to hang out. Just to hang Honestly, out. Honestly, that's all I planned on doing. Because I have, because I'm right now getting in trouble by my 
township for my own car in my parking lot because I got into a accident about on my birthday actually okay. and it's been sitting in my parking lot right now they're about to start finding us if I don't get it out by tonight so okay. I thought I'd come out watch a movie and then go home and deal with it alright Russell so there's never been any type of inappropriate or lewd conduct with correct is that what you're telling me do you got an issue if we have our detectives look through your phone and make sure there's nothing on there there shouldn't be? There shouldn't be. There's only, I will tell you, I have photos from when somebody had tried to text me, and I added them on Snapchat. Okay. And so so what, I'm, what I'm asking you is we would take this for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Our detectives are back tomorrow. Okay. They'll do their security sweep. Make sure there's nothing on there they're not supposed to be. Okay. And then we'll get in touch with you and return it. Is that something you're willing to consent to? Because I'm not forcing yes. you. Is there any is there any way I can drop that off later or is there some way I can use that phone to get home tonight or do I stay? I'm here? I'm not gonna I didn't know this, what this, how this is. This is a working. purely consensual thing. Okay. Either I'll take it with me now and we'll have our detectives look through it. If you tell me no, give me my phone, that's what I'm gonna do. So it's a decision for you to make. I'm just asking if that's something you would consent to. It's up It's up to you. I'm not going to. I'll give it back to you, and you can make your decision if you want to hand it over or not. Um, if you don't want to, I'm going to tell you. I'll take it. For okay. Because so I, I got to use it if okay. I do go home tonight so, I'm gonna, for, so I can get my sister. I'm going to say to let's leave. Let's find different ways to get in contact with people that's not this way okay okay there's i mean a million different uh, social media platforms out there that aren't this and there's a million I, different just, girls out the there that aren't weeks, it's been really rough for me and i hear that. I understand and I, that and there's resources out there there's other right. people that you can talk to if you're having issues right there's therapists there's helplines there's you know even, you know, if it gets to the point there's something you can call and say, I just need, you know, someone to converse with, this isn't the way to do it. All right? Mm -hmm. All right. Let's go. All right. Thanks, guys. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you for coming out. busts planned? Uh, this or? is it for tonight, unless you want to meet us at the bar. We're getting a couple drinks. Oh, I, I'm, <laughs> you're good. Yep. Let's right. leave. Nah, I'm, I'm here till seven in the morning, so. Oh darn! So if you, get, you, if you guys are still, if you guys are still going at seven a.m., let me know. But we'll do. We'll do. All right. Okay. Make sure he gets so out. All right. Sure. Appreciate it, Chris. Great work. Great working with you. Seriously, yeah. thank you so much. You're more than welcome. Two and a half hours just to hang out. Huh? Yep. It's a long drive. Yeah. Would you drive that do. far just to hang out with someone? Well, like I said, I'm gonna attract somebody. Put some decent clothes on and take a. And take a shower. <laughs> yeah, he he needs he needs to indulge in some soap and water. Honestly, yeah, I found it hard to believe that he was showering. Well, there you have it. That is the story of 21-year-old Rusty. Uh, he really is a memorable character, isn't he? I'm still trying to figure out what that sound was that he let out of his mouth when he banged his leg on whatever when he was walking away. I mean, what was, was that like a meow or something? I don't, I still can't really figure that one out. And I just hope that he was able to make it back to his hometown in time to give his sister a ride to see her hospitalized boyfriend. Uh, because I mean, that, that whole scenario was just a mess. Rusty was free to go on this day, but everything has been submitted to Kalamazoo PD and they're looking into it. Even if nothing ends up happening to him on the legal side of things, I just hope he can learn from this experience and not try to meet up with any more cupcakes. But in either case, we'll be keeping an eye out for him, that's for sure. We all know that there are many, many other predators out there, just like Rusty, and if they happen to fall into our investigation, they will be discovered and they will ultimately get skeeted. Just as Rusty did, on this day. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed this episode of Deskeet a Predator. If you did, be sure to leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel. I've been your host, Skeet Hansen. Thank you and good night.